Silver Sable is great in bounce decks. So obviously I asked, can she work in junk? She reads, on reveal, steal two power from the top card of your opponent's deck. We are pairing her with Selene, who also negatively afflicts an opponent's card. We can force those cards onto the board using Dr. Octopus. White Widow junks up your opponent's side of the board, along with Debris and also Green Goblin. Titania can also junk up your opponent's side of the board in tandem with Green Goblin or White Widow. We have Grandmaster to duplicate all of these really nasty effects. She is the, and it starts with a B. Trash. Armor is here because I hate Destroy, and it's also a natural counter to this deck, so let's fight back. And Daredevil. So on turn five, you know exactly where to clog your opponent. Shang-Chi is in the deck to neutralize any big power cards our opponent has because this deck does not have a lot of big power itself. Both Silver Sable and Selene have this weird hidden effect because you don't quite see the impact it has on your opponent, which is why we also have Doc Ox, we can see that impact, but it definitely impacts your opponent. First up we have, I think we get our Selene down now. I'm pretty sure we get her down now. This is a normal deck. Because we have Green Goblin, we have our next turn in Daredevil. There's an argument to be made. We send them Green Goblin and Titania. What cards are we drawing? We have Armor and Doc Ock. If this is Surfer, a Brood, then we can't send the Green Goblin. We actually can. I'm gonna snap. Because it's turn four, I can do the Titania Green Goblin move. I have priority. So what I want to do with priority is play Green Goblin first, then Titania. Because then when they play, it'll flip, or if they fill, then it won't flip. If I didn't have priority, I would want to play Titania first, then Green Goblin, to fully clog them. So it's very important to remember priority. When this happens, I made that mistake plenty of times, and they retreated later. We were going to get the bonus. We were probably going to clog the middle because they, with White Hot Room, they in all likelihood were going to play middle. So that would be one card because even if it's Brood, it's still just one card. It hasn't revealed. With the, the Brood would have stopped the Titania from flipping actually. So if it was another card, then they both would have ended over on their side blocking them, but if it was Brood, I would have kept the Titania on my side. That's the logic. But I also would have had extra energy. Then I have a Debris and Carnage. So I was, I was super well positioned to really block them up, and that's what this deck is designed to do. Okay, next up we have Nicolas. They have a normal deck. I will get Silver Sable down middle because if I draw into Grandmaster, I really like to double up White Widow or Debris, which we will not be doing. White Widow middle because it is harder to fill with Miniaturized Lab locking that down. This might be a Mr. Negative deck with Psylocke on turn two. Uh, Miniaturized Lab is really getting in the way. Yeah, because I could really... Victory. <laughs> Rage quit. Next up, we have... Donkey. Eight cards in deck on turn one. Normal deck. We have 
miniaturized lab once again. I will in all likelihood throw Daredevil there. Turn three will be our goblin. Turn four is... Victory! What is going on? Alrighty, let's see if we can complete a game against Demon Efe. Silver Sable Middle. They have eight cards in deck. They are a destroy deck. So we will not be able to draw into armor. <laughs> because that is how life goes. Uh. Like and subscribe. They have priority. So we will do one of these numbers, see if we can't maintain priority, and have the one in six chance to draw into armor. Enough said, Bob. We do maintain priority. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we do. And now, can we draw into armor? Can I see an armor? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this game. This game. I have priority. Let's go debris. Good God, this game. Because they're almost definitely going to destroy middle. Oh, I guess I could have uh, armored middle. Or filled middle? No, I wouldn't have been able to fill middle. All right, so Mount Vesuvius is on the board. We could not draw into armor. She wanted to stay in the bottom four cards of my deck. <laughs> so, so I have no choice. That is why armor is in the deck, to combat these destroyed decks. The only saving grace, nobody snaps. I can get out of here with one, chalk it up to bad draw luck, and hopefully next game against destroy, I can actually draw armor. Okay, round three, we are against John and the their discard deck. Let's go with Silver Sable Middle. And then maybe a Daredevil Middle too. Yes. They have not gotten their Mobius down on turn two. But they still have a Dracula, which is worth a ton of power. I think I get Selene down. Now. Okay, and maybe this is Lemuria. Okay, we abandon left. <laughs> yeah, Lemuria, of course. I have priority. Let's go Green Goblin, middle, and then I can play Titania and Doc Ock here. Mobius gets rid of four. This is probably a Mobius, or Morbius. Boy, this is just not coming together. Fill middle? I think I fill middle. What is this pull? That's a good pull. No cards in hand. <laughs> so they are top decking whatever they want to do. We have priority. 
So they can't really win the Dracula lane. So if we do this, this, and this, this should cover all bases. Yeah, zero cards in hand, so it's just whatever their top deck is. Which is... Ay, ay, ay. They tried. <laughs> they definitely tried. We were able to get them with the White Widow. And thankfully, coming in, coming into play, you saw that kind of Silver Sable or Selene, who, who did their job? Oh, they both did their job. <laughs> so that made middle real competitive. Good win. Okay, round four. I need to remember they have... What's-his-face? Magneto, which can yank around my Doc Ock. White Widow... Yeah, they haven't needed... They haven't needed her. Quite frankly. Let's go Selene... Left. Just because. They get the swarm out of their hand. I mean, I gotta send Green Goblin... Right. Correct? Like, that's a... That has to be done. I am snapping because I can fill the middle right now. Okay, let's chase them out of the game. And queue up into... So what I was going to do is play Titania first, and then White Widow. White Widow goes off, Titania flips, I can pull those back later. And then just figure out the rest. I can potentially throw priority and Shang-Chi, one of their big targets. Okay, we have Selene, Silver Sable, and Doc Ock. Flood the other locations. They do have strong cards for those. I will Silver Sable middle. I really need debris to really come to play. We will get Selene down. And then we will get Green Goblin down. They probably play Dracula middle. I'll snap into this. Throw Green Goblin over here. And then I can also White Widow. And potentially Titania if I can draw into her. And also with Selene, we've hit one of their cards, so I could Doc Ock it. I want to block their Invisible Woman. What a hit. <laughs> what a hit. I want to block their Invisible Woman. So, what blocks their Invisible Woman? This blocks their Invisible Woman. So let us do that. And there we go. Game, set, and match, because that is a modoc. <laughs> and they cannot play cards. So we just Titania this, and yeah. Rage quit. Victory. This is exact. This is a picture perfect game of how this deck plays when you really it it kind of hinges on debris to be able to fill some of these lanes with grandmaster potentially doubling all of these other nasty junk cards up you see how Celine or yes yeah, Celine Celine works with Doc Ock Silver Sable is the same came together very nicely Icebox hits our Sean that's okay. This is looking like a retreat, quite frankly. Central Park. 
We definitely get Selene down. I can set up a Carnage Lane. I can set up a Titania and Green Goblin. The best pull for me would be Debris here. Swarm, they are... They don't have much space. Central Park definitely... Snap. Helps me out immensely. I will debris. I would have loved to debris. Right. But that is okay. We debris there. I can... Block them now. They have priority. So if I play Titania and Green Goblin. And they are cooked. <laughs> GG's. Game over, folks. That is how this deck plays. And it played beautifully. We get the Carnage down here. With deep space, there is absolutely nothing they can do to us. And funny, we're actually winning middle without the flip. That is funny. And then... Rage quit. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. So, you see exactly how this deck works. I went down in this Conquest game, I lost the first two matches, and then it was a clean sweep from there on out. We were able to effectively clog them and really disrupt what anything they wanted to do. We have literally 13 points of power on the board, and this is exactly how this deck works. Round two against I Don't Know You. There is their Hit Monkey. They are a Bishop Hit Monkey Collector Wiccan deck. They are an aggressive snapper. They are have a, a 20k collection level. So they know what they are doing. And they are an aggressive snapper. They are probably a better player than me. <laughs> Silver Sable hit our Green Goblin. That's hilarious. Let's go Daredevil over here. Is this... Ah, Falcon. Okay. Hmm, jeez, I think I just have to hold because I'm afraid of Beast. I don't want to throw Green Goblin over for it to just get beasted. So I have Daredevil on the board. So let's go... Doc Ock over here, get the weak card out of their hand into the bishop lane. Uh, they used Falcon, they're probably not going to beast that lane. Perfect. On 5 energy, we have White Widow into Green Goblin or Debris. So I probably go White Widow middle, that way I can Sean middle. I don't want priority. And if I White Widow middle, I might get it. So let's see, pay very close attention to which cards come down first. Stay focused, because you can kind of see, but you really have to be quick to see what cards are played first. They do come down in order, but it is tough to see what cards are played when, if they play more than one. I think the middle one came down first. Kate. Silver Sable, Silver Sable, and Hit Monkey. Can I do Green Goblin, White Widow? Green Goblin, Carnage? And then Sean and White Widow? I'm going to snap into this because if, if there's any game I win, it's going to be this. <laughs> they also have a demon. 
So let's let's see what they let's see what they have. This card we're drawing is completely nuked. There's the hit monkey. They can only play two cards. So they can't win right. So do they have a Cosmo? Which is good because I can't really play Carnage. So a Carnage over here just for stats and then a Sean middle. The demon and this should be enough. Power must be controlled. And you see why Daredevil is in the deck. <laughs> it was tough for me to run the math. They did not believe me. They got punished for staying. The Daredevil snap came in, came in handy. And we took out a player, which honestly, they're probably better than I am. But we, we got them this game. We were able to plot out our turn five and six, courtesy of Daredevil. He came through, and this deck is tough to, it might be a little tough to navigate and pilot because you have to play a little risky. That's why I put Daredevil in the deck to decrease that risk. Because sometimes you just wanna throw goblins and if they block you, they block you, oh well. But that's how you have to play this deck. A little risky, but you will find that you don't get blocked very often. And that's why Daredevil is in this deck. Again, if you doubt his his use, this is his use. I was able to perfectly plot out, okay, Green Goblin over here, counteracts the Bishop. They are running out of space. You see, they blocked themselves. That's another impact that Junk has against really good players. And with White Widow and being able to pair that with Sean, we knew the Widow's Kiss was going to be negative three. And we we snapped because against players that are better than you, you have to take risks. You have to. And this was the best chance to knock them out of this game. And that's exactly what we did. Okay, so we completed the Silver Go Conquest, got ourselves a gold ticket. The reason why I like showing these some of these games in silver conquest is you have a little bit of a lesser competition even though the last person we faced was serious competition so i just get a better cross section of the opponents i'm playing because my viewers have a wide range of opponents they are facing not everybody's at the same level so i do like to show competition that is at a wide range as well thank you for watching to the end of the video thank you to all my members of the channel I appreciate everybody who watches me, even if it's just for a little bit, and thank you. This deck hedges a little bit closer to more of a combo style. There aren't an abundance of clog in this deck, but there's a decent amount. If you're not drawing well, be aware of that and just retreat for one cube. But when you are drawing well, try to be aggressive because that's what it takes with a junk deck. You have to play risky, you have to play aggressive. If you don't have Grandmaster, Viper works kind of good in this deck. You also could try Hood if you need to find some replacements because you can take him out with either Carnage or Viper. Whatever flavor of this deck you try, I hope you enjoy it. I hope your opponents don't. And have fun. Rage quit.